Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how a candidate is evaluated during a coding interview. So let's get started. Although different companies have different hiring criteria, so there is no one fit rule for all the companies, but we can classify four major pillars on which a candidate is evaluated during a coding interview. The first one is the communication skills. So how are you going to be evaluated based on your communication skills? Am I referring to what language you speak? No, definitely not. We are not very concerned whether you are comfortable in English or Hindi. But what matters is whenever you are given with a problem statement, do you ask clarifying questions back to the interviewer or do you discuss multiple approaches with the interviewer by giving and discussing the various trade-off between each of those solutions. We are more concerned about these things that how you can clearly communicate with the interviewer without, you know, giving him much trouble to understand what you're trying to convey. That is more important. So the next one is the problem solving skills. Whenever a problem statement is given, are you able to think of multiple approaches for that problem? Can you start from the brute force solution and optimize those solutions later on? by discussing various trade-offs between each of those. Are you able to, you know, convey the time and space complexities for each of those solutions? And this is what matters in the problem solving part. The next part is the technical competency. Basically, now you have understood the problem. You have discussed various approaches with your interviewer. Next is that you will be tested whether you can code down those solutions into actual code. So here we will be testing you on whether you can convert your solution into code easily or are you facing any difficulties with the language you are using or whatever you know various implementations of your code using data such as an algorithms how comfortable with those things this is also very important point and not only this we also check if you write clean code you are giving proper variable names or you're writing small functions and you know making your code modular these are the things which are important in terms of the interviewer's perspective now coming to the fourth and the most important part is the testing phase now you have have coded down your solution but you should not wait for the interviewer to give the test cases and you know you should rather bring on your own normal test cases and the corner cases and try to run your code and show him the dry run of your code and if you are able to find any mistake in your code by yourself and you're able to rectify it trust me this gives you additional brownie points so that is where you know rather than allowing the interview to give you test cases, show them the test cases on your own and, you know, debug your code. And this is where the testing skills is also very important. So yeah, these were the four pillars, which are really important from the interviewer's point of view in judging a candidate. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any more sessions for any videos, drop them down below in the comment section. If you like this video, like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.